Hey everybody, I have a new recipe I want to try today. It's just kind of a little experiment on a very popular recipe here on YouTube. But before I get started, I wanted to show you what my friend Becky sent me. And um, it's a double towel on both sides and you can hang it on your refrigerator door or your oven door dishwasher door just wherever it um unbuttons here at this flower like button and anyway you have two sides to it to be able to dry your hands on and i just wanted to show how pretty it is and well made and especially how thoughtful it is. So, Becky, thank you so much for this and all the other sweet things that you sent. So, um, our recipe today is going to be a take on the Mississippi roast. And what I'm going to do is use chicken instead of a roast, a beef roast. And also, I'm going to add vegetables. So, we're going to see how this turns out. So... Um, here is my crock pot, and I have my liner in it, and here are two chicken breasts that I have cut into three tenders. They were pretty big, and so I just cut those into six pieces all together, and I'm um, just laying those out on the bottom of the crock pot. And then to that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my vegetables. And I'm not sure if you can see or not, probably not. So hopefully you can see here. But I have this big old potato. It came in a 15, ba 15 pound bag of potatoes I got at Sam's Club and when you buy those 15 pound bags usually they're pretty big so and one potato will be plenty for this um, recipe so I'm gonna cut it up into not real big pieces And I'm leaving the skin on, as you can see, because I have no problem eating the skin. And uh, you save on vitamins and nutrients and all that. So, if the potato's getting pretty old and kind of tough, I'll take the skin off. But usually, otherwise, I just leave the skin on. So, um... I'm going to finish cutting this potato up. And if y'all have uh, not heard me mention it, I'm watching my grandson now throughout the week. Uh, usually five, uh, four days a week through the week, not the weekend. So sometimes it's hard to film with him. And so until I can get things figured out, I might miss a day or two here and there. But hopefully I can get things figured out uh, so that I don't miss too much. So, um... Uh, peeling this big onion. We really love onion. Randy and I, Kaylin doesn't like onion, so she just picks hers out, but I like to leave it big enough so that she can see it to pick it out. And so uh, this end is where the onion is kind of hooked together. And so I wanna cut it where there's some of that holding the onion together in the pot so you can get chunks, if that made sense.
And if anybody else has tried doing this, let me know how yours turned out. All right, there's the onions. And now I'm gonna put a few carrots. And these are just small carrots. I'm not gonna bother cutting them up. And I'll just put two kind of small handfuls and that'll be enough carrots. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put, well, I'm gonna put the water after I put the seasoning. So let me set that back down. And I have a little tablespoon here and I have uh, brown gravy. I know that uh, a lot of people use the au jus, but this will be just fine. And I'm gonna put two, um, two tablespoons of this, kinda a little bit heap, and maybe I'll put two and a half because I do like strong flavor. Then I'm gonna put two and a half of the ranch. And you can buy this um, gravy and ranch in their own packets. You don't have to buy it in these containers. All right. Then I'm gonna add one cup of water and just pour it over that seasoning so it'll help it mix through. And then the chicken's gonna add moisture also. Then I'm gonna add some of these pepper ronchi, ronchini, how do you say that? Pepper ronchini? Sounds pretty close. So I'm gonna take some of them and just throw them down in here. So I put about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I'll put just a little juice, not a whole lot. Then the last thing I'm gonna do is put half of a stick of butter. I think the recipe with the roast that I've seen called for a whole stick, but I'm just gonna put half a stick and I'll put it on the top. And that's it. So I'm going to um, cook this on high because I got it started later in the day. If you see the clock, which I don't think you can, it says 5.30, but it's, I haven't set the clock since last time the power went out. So I'm gonna set this on high and I'm thinking about four hours and uh, I'll check the vegetables and the chicken and see if everything's done and then I'll come back. So there it is and it really looks good I think. So I'm gonna get some up in the bowl I just can't get over how good this tastes, the, the broth, because like um, I said, I tasted a little bit of it, but I haven't tasted the meat or anything. So here it is. Now I'll bring up. And we'll give it a taste. This is so good. I'm going to try a potato. Mm. It 
it's really so good. I think the only thing it's missing is some biscuits to eat with it. So, um, give this a try and see what you think. I think you'll uh, really enjoy it. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful uh, day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.